first of all, congratulations on the film. Thank you so much. Um, what were your thoughts when you read the script? So here's the thing, I never really had a chance to read the entire script. Peter Son, the director, and he's a co-writer and creator of the, uh, the, sh the, the story, he contacted me and uh, he wanted me to play the role of Cinder, which is loosely based on his Korean mom. And it just was such, a, such an honor for me. And I really wanted to do a great job. But as far as the script, I only was able to read those scenes that Cinder was in. So I could gather what's going on because Cinder is throughout quite a bit of it and you could imagine what's happening when she's not on the yeah. screen. And um, is, that, is it that harder because you don't have the full script than if it, if you would have it or doesn't it really? Yeah, I think, I think it is harder, but uh, Peter was directing it. So um, he's just such a master at orchestrating. Um, so he, he really helped a lot to, because he knows exactly what's going on. So the, the guidance that he would give was right on. Elements cannot mix. The pipe squished me all out of shape. Dang. That's better. Oh. So it's based on his own mother, like the uh, character. So how was it then to put some of your personality in as well, but also like honor his, her mother, uh, his mother as mm -hmm. much as possible? Uh, yeah, it was so important for me to honor her, especially since she's passed away and I don't believe in death. So I, I feel like she's looking down. <laughs> um, as far as putting my personality in this part, the way that it's written, the part is me. It's who I am. The only difference being that I'm a matchmaker and I'm terrible at it, but I keep trying. And she's amazing at it because she's got a great track record, except for that she wasn't able to find a match for her daughter. Um, and uh, also that, you know, the accent that we uh, were trying to create for her, Peter and I collaborated on um, what if these elements speak fireish and the language fireish was created by the same genius linguist who created a language for Game of Thrones. Oh. So it was an actual language that we spoke, um, some phrases and some sentences. Um, so the, the idea was if this is the language she grew up speaking when she speaks English and English is a second language to her, how would her accent be? Mm -hmm. So that's what we were trying to figure out nice and um how does like the voicing process work um is the animation already ready before you do the voices or is it the other way around or? i think uh i think it's the other way around okay. when we started um i think it was the very first day that i was in a studio uh doing the voiceover peter showed me a little drawing of the character cinder and the drawing really didn't do justice to what I saw on the screen. Oh, oh it was incredible because it's, you know, uh, these characters, it really was a technological feat to, to bring them to life, as you uh, saw, uh, because these characters, like the, the fire character, oh, sorry for that. The fire character is, she's not just a match on fire, or a piece of wood on fire. This is a fire being. Okay. So she's emitting light. And uh, it was just so beautiful to see, like when she's standing in front of the water character, that you, you could see her, her reflection in the eyes of the water character or the light that she's emitting on the body of different mm -hmm. elements. Okay. Water is always getting into something. <laughs> Fire? As ordered. We run a little hot. <laughs> and um, did you know before doing, um, before playing Cinder, who the rest of your on-screen family would be, or did you? Find I have no any? idea. I found out later. Oh, yeah. yes. And how how was it? And we oh, finally get to see. They're so amazing. I met them for the first time today. Mm -hmm. Oh, Leah Lewis is I actually I was so curious about it. I didn't know her and I watched her in one of the I think it was a Netflix film and I was mesmerized she's such a great actress and she's a singer and has such a voice such a voice and Mamudu Ate oh my god what a beautiful human being to look at and then his voice and 
I mean, it really was, it was such an honor for me to be um, among them. Um, and so, what, wait, um, when you see the film um, on, the, on the big screen for the first time, how was that? How do you feel? Oh, I was just blown away. There were certain parts, the music was so incredible. I mean, the, the story just gets you. I cried several times being a, uh, an immigrant myself. I really related, obviously, to the character of Cinder, but I really related so much to Ember and that guilt and the burden that she carries, as this is a guilt and burden that I carry to this day, I do, even though my father's passed away. Um, of you know, I, I wish I was a better daughter. Uh, I feel like this is such an immigrant. Mm, it's very common. Um, and is this the big lesson, the biggest lesson you think people will take away with them? Because the film is filled with like lessons about being your own person, never giving up on family, you know, finding the love. Do you think that is the biggest lesson? I think it's such a beautiful lesson. These two elements that are so different from each other that they don't even want to touch each other because they're afraid, right? Water can destroy fire, fire can vaporize water. They're afraid to get close enough to even touch, which you can imagine so many uh, people are afraid of people that are different than them and wouldn't even want to get close to one another because of differences, mental, um, religious, whatever, mm -hmm. nationalities, different ways of life. And this film shows you that when you get past the differences that we become better people mm -hmm. and that the whole community becomes better by embracing our differences, we all become more sophisticated and just have more to celebrate in life, have more foods, more wonderful yeah. ideas. Why does anyone get to tell you what you can do in your life? Come on! Why do they even have these? Eh, who knows? Um, and so you've done a lot of like um, voicing um, jobs. And where did that passion come from, like lending your voice to a lot of the characters? It's been that way since I was little. I remember I was born in Iran and when I was at the age of four, I would come in and impersonate like different people in the family. Um, <laughs> and uh, so it, it was something that came naturally to me. But it's something that I'm so interested in. My husband says that he 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 feels like sometimes he's married 25 different personalities because I'm always like voicing and I'm always like I hear something and I go over it and over it and over it. And my husband's like, God, oh, just be quiet, already. So it just comes naturally to me. I love it. If if there's like any character that has already been voiced by someone else, but that could use a new voice and that would be yours, who would you like to? From all, like the Disney Pixar world. Oh my goodness, the Disney Pixar world. What a great question. What a great question. I have to think about it because there's so many. Inc That's the thing is that I'm so mesmerized by all the voices that they've, like, I'm surprised. I have to pinch myself that I'm even voicing something for. Disney and Pixar, that these are the gold medal standards in animation, that I don't feel like, I don't feel like I could do anything better than it already has been. Okay. Those are too hot. I love hot food. You see, he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> So do you have any other films you're working on at the moment? Uh, I'm in season three of a television show called Tehran on Apple TV. It's an espionage thriller okay. and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's very, um, uh, it's one of those shows with a lot of twists and turns and you just never know what's going to happen next and you continue to get surprised. So that's a lot of fun. Okay. And um, has your husband already seen this film? Because you thought she's told that he's like oh god shut up but, <laughs> so uh, if he has 
Did you think of it? I think it, my husband hasn't seen oh, it yet, okay. but it's interesting because when I was um, at the London premiere earlier today and I watched it mm -hmm. on the big screen for the first time, I I was thinking about my husband and my husband would love it. There's especially this one scene, I have a feeling he's going to break down and cry. The, the scene where the father prostrates in front of um, you know, bows down in front of um, his daughter. It's such a beautiful father-daughter yeah, connection. And I feel like that's really important. I feel like we we don't give as much acknowledgement to fathers. And of course, unfortunately, there have been fathers that have been absentees for whatever reason, but there's so many. We're here because of our fathers, of course, as well as our mothers, but it really felt great to be part of a uh, part of a movie that acknowledges that beautiful relationship between fathers and children. Well, yeah, and it's Father's Day today in the UK, so it's, yeah, it's an amazing story mm -hmm. to see today. Mm -hmm. um, well, that was actually my last question, mm -hmm. so thank you so much. My <laughs> pleasure, thank you thank so you. much, it was a pleasure. Meet the residents of Element City. Air usually has their head in the clouds. Oh, my new jacket! Earth can be a little seedy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing weird going on here. Uh, just a little pruning. Water is always getting into something. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Help! And fire? As ordered. We run a little hot. This shop is dream of our family. Someday it'll all be yours. But we all live by one simple rule. Elements cannot mix. <laughs> the pipe squished me all out of shape. Dang. That's better. Oh. So you've never left Firetown? Sorry, buddy. Elements don't mix. Whoa. Plus, my dad would boil you alive. Why does anyone get to tell you what you can do in your life? Come on! Why do they even have these? Eh, who knows. Watch this! Whoa! Ember, I see a change in you. Water guy? You live here? It's my mom's place. We got two kids that are swimming around here somewhere. Orca, follow! What? <laughs> I've been trying to fill my father's shoes, but I never once asked what I wanted to do. Try this! Mm. Dad, those are too hot. I love hot food. <laughs> Likes it. <laughs> <laughs>